Can we get a head count for how many more spaces we have? We still have... Uh, With only the light of their torches, UN doctors move patients out of the second biggest hospital in Gaza. Through darkened corridors, they get 14 patients out. The patient has to be moved with an ambu bag. Yeah, we are with right. an ambu bag. Yeah. The evacuation was only allowed two days after Israeli forces raided NASA Hospital. This is the former emergency department of NASA Medical Complex. And it's a death zone. Israel says its soldiers found weapons and terror suspects inside the hospital. We found here in the pharmacy medicine seemingly meant to reach hostages. There is a name for each hostage. Fierce battles have been intensifying for weeks here, both around the hospital and across the city of Khan Yunus. There are fears these scenes could start to play out further south in the border city of Rafah where more than half the population have fled and where Israel says it'll soon march its forces. The United States has reportedly drafted a UN Security Council resolution calling for a temporary ceasefire in Gaza and for Israel not to proceed with the Rafa invasion. It's the latest indication of America's growing frustrations with Israel's military campaign. The US is one of more than 50 countries that will address the International Court of Justice in The Hague on the legality of Israel's occupation of Palestinian territories. Successive Israeli governments have given the Palestinian people only three options. Displacement, subjugation or death. These are the choices. Ethnic cleansing, apartheid or genocide. Battling several fronts, Israel launched its deepest attack into Lebanon, it says targeting Hezbollah arms depots. The calls for a deal that will bring about some sort of ceasefire and the release of hostages are growing by the day. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.